We have yet another trainer right here. We have Street Performer, a looper. I almost said Saint Performer like I did for the Down Saint key. Uh, Pretty much my Gramble is just going to destroy her. She's got a Quillfish out of the field. She's got a not so bulky water. I could take her out no problem. So I think I got Seedra. See, this is what Gramble is like really good for. Granted, I know that like a lot of stuff can use Earthquake, and there's probably stuff that can use Earthquake better, but still. Uh, as you saw there for a split second, I have three hearts on return, which I think indicates that I am getting more than 80 power, but it's not quite maxed out at 102. So that's kind of a shame. But at least I made the right move in getting rid of it when I did, and down goes Gramble, unfortunately. Oh well. Throw out Psycho. I, I keep flip flopping between like real names and, you know, not nicknames and all that. I don't know. Um, what I'm kind of wanting to do here is I I'm kind of having Walnut out a lot because I want to get Walnut leveled up a bit more because it's on the cusp of learning Spikes, which if you are using a wall, Spikes is one of the best moves that you could have. Uh, I know it's good on Skarmory as well, who can also do the job of an attacker, but I don't know. I, I, I like having Spikes on Forgers quite a bit. I think I'm actually just going to fight this guy without him, though, just because I remember like him being kind of easy with this type combination. Yeah, I was right. So, take out Swallow and one hit with Psychic, and then we have Magneton, which we're going to take out Flame Wheel. I think my team is coming together quite nice, because as you see here, I'm one-hitting a lot of stuff, and I'm not finding myself ill-equipped for very many situations. we do Brick Break, which doesn't quite take it out. We Whoa! We live with a critical hit from Overheat. Uh, Overheat is one of the most powerful fighting type moves. I believe it's second, only to Blast Burn. It has 140 power, but you greatly lower your own special attack after doing it, which surprises me why Ninetales doesn't have a white herb equip, because that would have been a great thing to have. Let's see, so we got Ryder Kevil. He's got Dawn Fan and Quagsire! You can't use a Quagsire! I'm the only person in the world happy enough to use a Quagsire, thank you very much. I have that copyrighted. Maybe. Don't ask me for that. Just make a trip to the Library of Congress a bit later. So, let's see, we're gonna be doing Fire... Never we're not. I was about to say we're gonna do Fire Blast to take out that Sand Slash, but no, we're not, and damn. Uh, Corona is kind of screwed here. Um, yeah, I didn't think it was gonna live to that. Well, Sand Slash has used Dig, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw out Affection right here. Just because I think that would be probably the best thing that we can do in this situation, though, because it's not going to be affected by Granite. Da -da -do! Yeah, we have a not affected by Mr. Evis. <laughs> okay. Let's take out Sand Slash. Only doing Rock Tomb. Thank God it's not doing Dig to drag out this battle even more. That's the thing is, in older Pokemon games, I used to love doing Dig. You know, like, I could always catch a Dug Trio before Lieutenant Surge, and then I'd always use it, and I'd love using Dig at that point in the game. But. I hate having it used on me against the AI because it takes forever. So, it's a good level, it's a good everything. I can't really say enough good about it. It's a great Pokemon. It really is. Anyway, uh, let's uh, see if we can take out Croconaw this turn. Or, not Croconaw, Crawdon. Croconaw! <laughs> I don't know, it's really weird that I mix those up like that. Okay, let's see here. So, we're doing Steel Wing. I'm hoping to God that we can. Okay, good! We do! Hoping to God that we can. Oh, Sludge Bomb, okay. I guess I forgot that I had that for a move. Psycho's unfortunately going down. I got to do some damage against Crawdont, but at least Marshall's gonna get to attack right here. Let's, um, who do I want to send out? Honestly, even though that Crab Hammer is a little dangerous, I'll show you Walnut. No. I'm kind of feeling Corona, actually. Let's, uh, see if we can outspeed that Crawdont and use Brick Break on it, which would be kind of nice. Yeah. And then after that, we'll try to catch Skarmory right after. Okay, so we take out... Well, actually, we don't know if we take it out. We get Skarmory down to yellow health. And Crawdont barely hangs on. So we will use this turn to take it out. Let's see. Do, um, go ahead and use Yawn on Skarmory to try to soften it up, make it a bit easier for us to catch. Because I would love to have the star Pokemon of Team Snagum's boss. I mean, as you recall in the intro, to the, in the intro at the beginning of Coliseum... We did see Gonzap Skarmory flying around the base outside just as it was being blown up, so it's kind of cool actually coming face to I keep saying cool, but you can't fault me on this. This is a really freaking cool boss fight. I always like this, okay? I it's me stomping my hand on my desk if you can hear that, though. But yeah, I always like this. I this is just one part of the game that always stood out to me, but it's just it's awesome coming face to face with that same Skarmory, and if you find it, it's like the boss's star Pokemon. I don't know why. It just... I like this fight. I can't really explain all the reasons. It's just so many things added up all at the same time. 
We'll go ahead and use our Great Ball on it. I don't want to, like, waste the big guns on it until it's, like, really, really weakened, but I'll kind of just use it here just to totally be on the safe side. And what do, what do you say we do smoke screen on it to test to see if it has its ability or not? Because if it doesn't do anything, it has keen eye. If it does do something, it has sturdy. Let's see. That is if we actually do catch it. One. Okay, good. I can't believe I'm saying good to not catching it, but I kind of wanted to know what ability it had without having to go back to the PC and check. And sure enough, it's got sturdy. One. 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 Okay, seriously, it's been asleep for how long? It has like a quarter of its health left. And it's seriously... It only shook once every time. I know catch rate 25 is kind of low, but it's not that freaking low. One. 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 My god, it's only shook once all these times! One, 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 one. My god! One, two, three. My god! Okay, let me outline this for you. It shook one time 17 times in a row before finally shaking more than once. That was stupid. Grown a lot better, Wes. You bet I have. I like how his eyebrows are droopy. <laughs> Gonzap's eyebrows are the best, man. I don't know. I get the feeling there's something about Zangoose that can't be easily replicated in another Pokemon that well. And dang, that Miltank really is bulky. Uh, we'll do... Uh, I think it's already the slowest in the team, though. But we can do Scary Face on it. Actually, no, it outsped much. Munchkin. What the heck am I saying? Uh, we'll do Psychic on it right here. Let's hopefully weaken that Miltank. And I'd really like for these battles... Do not- Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Um... Whoa! Damn! Psycho, you really powerful. Did I really say that? Um, as you see there, it's doing Defense Curl, and I think it's got Rollout in its moveset as well. Miltank's kind of known for using Rollout. Uh, just so you know, Defense Curl actually has multiple uses when you have Rollout in your moveset. Uh, it does not just up your defense, but it also will increase the power of Rollout, um, after each time that it is used. So what it's doing there is actually a very good strategy that doesn't get brought up a whole lot that you can do defense curl and then follow it up with the rollout to do additional damage. We'll cast up a reflect right here because I get the feeling that it's going to try to start doing damage on us. And I really, 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 if it does have rollout after all, I do not want to have to deal with it. Let's see. One. We're really back to this where it's going to shake one time and then just do nothing. Really? Because that is just so annoying. I don't like that at all. It's so frustrating. Because I couldn't do anything during that fight with Gonzap. And it's just like, his Skarmory had less than a quarter of its HP. I wasn't throwing the ball too early. I think I was doing okay. But it's just like, yeah, it, it was crap is what it was. Let's do Protect just in case it's going to attack uh, Psycho right here. If not, it'll get nullified uh, by the Reflect if it attacks Munchkin. I feel so weird saying these nicknames after calling it Granville for so long. Anyway, we got one, two, three. Got it. Okay, only took two tries. So we're off to a good start right here. What? That wasn't supposed to happen. Aw, uh, she's hiding her face because she's embarrassed in front of the crowd. I think I might try to snag Tropius a few times, uh, even though it's kind of high on health, I just want to get it out of there, and maybe if I get lucky I can. Granted, the way that my luck has been going with snagging, I'm not really counting on it to work, but hey, I might as well try. So, we'll have Munchkin do Sludge Bomb on Cacturn. Fantastic, um, this move's actually been coming in kind of handy in these battles. Uh, let's see here, and then I... There's no way they're going to target Fortress with Grass-type moves because it's going to quad resist them. So let's go ahead and use the Great Ball on that Tropius and see if we can just get mega lucky. Let's see. Come on. Come on. I've gotten luckier than this in LPs. I got Groudon at, like, full health in a Nest Ball. Come on. Come on. I can do this. I can do it. You guys got to believe in me. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Oh, and I woke up my cat. Oh, man, that was cool. Oh, that gets me energized to go into this last part of the game. Oh, man. Take out Cacturn, just one hit, no problem. Okay, we take him out. All he's got left is Cradley. He doesn't even get to attack because he just sent it out. Um, oh, man, what am I going to do here? 
Uh, we'll do Earthquake, and we'll do Protect. Okay, we'll do that. Oh my god, I'm so excited right now. This is so cool. I can't believe that actually worked. I was just... I'll be honest, I was kind of talking out of my ass to see if I could, you know, maybe get Fate to favor me and catching it with a Great Ball when it was like at full health. But no, it actually worked! It actually worked! Wow, um, defenses are really high. Does that reflect? Uh, what do I want to do here? Uh, we'll do that, and we will do that. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, we'll do that, we'll do that, so let's do that. <laughs> we'll do return, it's not very effective, and we'll just do, um... We'll do Toxic. If it's using Poison-type attacks, there's no way it's going to target Walnut with it, because it's immune to Poison. I don't think the AI is quite that stupid. It's, it's that dumb when I got Mysterious on the field, but there's no way it's going to be that dumb when I have Fortress on the field. Unfortunately, Fortress just isn't as lucky as Mysterious. I don't know what it is, but it just isn't. So we take very minor damage from that. And the last hit we took was Critical, and I got Poison. Okay. Kind of sucks that I got Poison, but oh well. So is Cradley. Cradley's poison as well. Let's, um... Shoot. Do I want to just go all out? You know what? I will. I'm going to do Earthquake, and I'm going to do Protect once more. Some people say that I spam Protect too much, and that I use it too much, but there's a reason why I have it. Two members of my team have Earthquake with really, really... Well, at least Munchkin's got a massive attack stat. Um, Quagsire kind of only has it because A, I have Soft Sand on it, and B, it gets the same type of attack bonus. Um, that's not good, because that could actually make Cradley live for another turn. It might, actually. I don't think Poison's going to do enough. Reflect War off. Okay. That was odd. It took it a second. I suffered from Poison. So Munchkin's going down. Munchkin was really helpful, though. Alright, Cradley doesn't quite go down from the Poison. So what do I have left that I could use here? Let's, uh, let's go for Affection. Let's have Mysterious get the kill on uh, Cradley right here. Or KO, I should say. Not not kill. Uh, KO. Yeah. So we'll do Psybeam and... Oh, why not? We'll do Rapid Spin of all things. Quick Claw activates at really funny times. Okay. So we got that. And now we will use Psybeam. And there's no way it's surviving this. Even with Cradley being the wall that I love to use. Unfortunately... It's not surviving. Unfortunately for it, not for me. Okay, so we've taken out all four of these trainers. Guess how this is going to go, because I legitimately have no clue. Uh, we'll do Surf and we'll do Return. Hopefully, Munchkin can outspeed. No! Uh, uh, when Tyranitar's the fastest on the field, you know your luck sucks. Oh, God. Well, not your luck, but oh, my God. Sign of being under level. Well, so much for outspeeding that Machamp. Bye, Munchkin. Okay, comes down to just Marshall. I think I can do this, but it's gonna be kind of chancy, okay? I think I've got this. I hope I can take out that Machamp. Whoa, critical hit. Okay. No, oh, no, crap! I can't take it out. Crap! Oh god, what am I gonna do here? This is a close battle, like really, really close. Machamp barely doesn't go down from that. Okay. Shoot. This is really bad. I'll go for Surf. Oh, whoa, 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 Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, he's an idiot! He's an idiot, guys! Oh my god! Evans, you are dumb! You suck! Oh my god! Oh man, I can freaking do this! WHY DID YOU DO THAT?! WHY DID YOU DO THAT?! Oh, I am ecstatic right now! You know why I'm ecstatic? Because my ace in the hole, that plan that I had for finishing him off... Hey, Evis, say hello to my Master Ball. DID IT! I know it's got a catch rate of 45 and it's a lot easier to catch than that Metagross, but I don't care! I win by default. Pokemon Coliseum is done. That was a close match, and that was a lot of fun. Oh man, that was great. That felt, that was so close. Oh man, I didn't know if I would have won there if he wasn't like, oh man. All right. No, even my ultimate Pokemon.